Hey, what's up everybody? Richie here with a really, really cool contraption to show you guys. Now this behind me right here is an automatic rabbit farm, and it functions in the same way all of your industrial cow or sheep farms will, but it uses a very special feature to get the baby rabbits down, because rabbits have one of the smallest hitboxes in Minecraft, which makes them difficult to farm. But this design I've given you will work effectively for farming all of your rabbits for all your rabbit needs, and is also pretty aesthetically pleasing. So let's just jump up there, and I'll show you guys how it works. Now, like a regular farm, we store all our rabbits in the top, and then we hit a button, and they're all in water. So, of course, we're going to feed them carrots, so they will breed and make lots and lots of baby rabbits. And then once multiplication time is over, we just turn the water back off and jump down, and you should see all of the babies beginning to fall from the surface. So after a few minutes, our little ball of baby bunnies will grow into a big ball of burly bunnies, and unfortunately, they are very dangerous and may attack at any time, so we must deal with them. Now the version of this farm I'm going to be showing you guys how to build is a little bit different than the version I showed you, mainly that you're going to kill the rabbits with your hands instead of with lava. And the reason for this is that rabbits have such little health that if they touch lava, they will die instantly, and all their drops will go down in the lava as well. So for the start of this build, we're going to put a chest in the middle and then two trap chests or solid blocks on the side. These are mainly just to keep rabbits from escaping, so you can pretty much use any blocks you want on the side. But from the middle block, we're going to have a hopper running into it, and then three iron bars here, just like this. Two blocks of your choice here and here. Actually, technically, you don't need them, nor that one back there. And then three glass right here just like this. Now put a cobble wall here and another one here to keep all your rabbits in place. And this will be your holding cell complete. So from there we're going to take a regular wooden fence post. It has to be made of wood or nether brick just because of a sizing issue. But then over here we're going to place stair blocks all around it just like this. Now these have to be stair blocks because if they're not stairs or slabs, this block will reach out and connect with them like it did right there. From this point, pick the side you want your water dispenser on, for example, I want it on this side, and place a dispenser facing into there with a button on the back of it. And then place three furnaces facing in around so everything looks nice and symmetrical. From that point, you can place any block around here, just like this, shift-clicking so that you can place them correctly. And then we're just going to put another layer of slabs right here on top of them. And I would recommend putting a fence post or a glass piece right here just so you don't fall into your own farm. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is your farm complete. I would recommend building a ladder or some method to get up to the top of this. And of course, you're going to need to put a water bucket in your dispenser right here. But that is pretty much it. Now the way this works is that adult rabbits can't fall past that fence post, but baby rabbits that move can fall out on the side. So you're just going to load as many adult rabbits in the top here as you can and your farm will be ready. And using this farm should be pretty easy for you guys. You can either use a slash attack or a splash potion of harming to dispense your rabbits, and it's actually a very excellent source of XP as well. So anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. No animals were harmed in the making of it. They were all, um, very highly trained stunt actors. And if you like this video or want to see more videos like this, Leave a like, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, because as of now, we are at 99 subscribers. Hopefully by the time I upload this, I should have hit 100, but I can't thank you guys enough. I've been doing YouTube for 8 months now, and I am so glad you guys decided to come along on the journey. But until the next time, guys, this has been Richie, and I'm out. I'll see ya.